All right, y'all, if you saw yesterday's video, I am building a drag bike, not a drag, well, it is a dirt drag bike and a hill climb bike for Flatheads, a big rally point happening in Eureka Springs. And right now, I have made it to Fort Worth, Texas. It's my boy Rusty from D&D &D Exhaust. He builds all my motorcycles. And he's gonna take this old girl and turn it in to a hill climb monster. I say monster, we'll see what he says. So this is Rusty's house and in his shop, he's got the bike right there that we're building. It is a 2003 Fat Boy. Wait till you guys see inside his shop. Beautiful. Rusty, are you certified? Very much so. Very much so, all right. Oh, you mean on this? Yeah, for Portland. Certifiably insane, maybe. Check out Rusty's collection. Of course, this is just a small, small section of his collection, but I thought y'all might want to see it. Ooh, and look. Look what this is over here. What is that? Oh my God. My girl's missing her guts. This is another bike of mine Rusty's working on. It's my old war horse. If y'all don't know, I rode that bike to every single Harley Davidson dealership in America in a single run. It's a 1996 Electric Glide Standard, and I'm the first person, and I believe the only person, to ride to every Harley Davidson dealership in America in a single run. It's how I got my start in all this YouTube, and my first real effort in trying to raise money for charity, and we raised a lot of it in that project. It was an 88,000 mile road trip where we raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for our veterans, and uh, I hit 702 Harley-Davidson dealerships across America. 14 times coast to coast, nine north to south to do it. This is the bike, like, these are all the stickers from all my stops along the way. Everywhere you look on this bike, you can find different stickers. Rusty's rebuilding this for me so I can make it a daily rider again. Push. So this, this bike is named the Buick. Oh yeah? Perfect name for it. It is a good name for it. So Rusty, everybody should know who Rusty is. Rusty is the proud owner of D&D &D Exhaust. I like to say American made exhaust, but he always corrects me and says... Made in Texas. Which is a big difference uh, for our Texas boys and girls. They are always so proud. But he has built so many of my motorcycles. A couple road glides for me. He's building my war horse like I just showed you all. And now he's going to build the Buick into a hill climb Monster. Can we say you're going to build it into a monster? <laughs> well, it'll be a monster. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to see what he can do to it. But when it comes to performance and building outrageous things, Rusty is 100% my go-to guy. And it's an added bonus that he is uh, a Marine Corps veteran and all-around badass. All-around badass. That's a fact, Jack. What are your first thoughts? You haven't seen the bike. You didn't know what the bike was. You're looking at it now. Give uh, me your first thoughts. Well, you said it was fuel injected, but it's actually carbureted. Really wouldn't matter either way, but it just saves me some time. It actually has a Makuni on it. We're gonna try to get it running because I think you said it made a little bit of a noise. So it we'll does. See. Definitely has engine noise the last time it was parked, and that was two, three years ago. Yeah, we'll see what that does. You know, then we'll go from there. What we'll, we'll. Yeah, that smells great. Oh, so we'll have to do some things to make this thing launch and be a hill climb bike and then eventually a, a drag bike. That's something right. Something that'll be fun. Soft tails are probably the worst. These soft tails anyway, as far as uh, geometry goes. So we'll have to see what we can come up with. But the first step is make it run. Making it run. I have full confidence that you'll have this thing running like a monster. You know, dude, we got plenty of time. We got almost three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> plenty of time. <laughs> almost three weeks to turn this into something I can break my neck on try to climb a hill. It doesn't need uh, a phone holder though. It's got a custom built-in phone holder right here. All right. So we got a little work done here. Put the headlight and the cell off. I won't be needing that. Get that rear fender off, that looks good. Let's see if we can get the girl to fire. Already looks better. Moment of truth.
runs. It definitely runs. It's a little, uh, got some stuff trying to get out of it, but. What does that sound like to you? Uh, it's probably compensator. I'm hoping it's not the balancers. It's the balancers we got issues, but just more work for me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's about ready to fall off. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Which would be awesome. Like if that's what it is, then that's perfect. Uh, uh, just tightening up the compensator is easy. I'm probably gonna switch the gear ratio anyway, and then it'll have to go chain drive because we're going longer swing arm. All that stuff will be going through regardless. I mean, it's got a good start. It has, uh, it has a Makuni on it. Might have a cam, change the exhaust pipe and do some tune. I mean, it's got a Screaming Eagle um, ignition box. So somebody's done something to it. Could have had the big bore kit, who knows? You think we can get this done in time to be racing at Flathead's Rally Point? In one form or the other, I think we could probably make that happen. All right, man. One way or another, I'm sending it. See if there's anything in here that might interest. So Rusty is actually just going through all of his stuff right now, trying to see what he's got laying around that we can build on this bike with. And it looks like you got some stuff laying around in here. What is this right here? It's uh, 143. 143 cubic inches. And this is where I have to interrupt your video. I am sitting here editing and one of the worst parts about being YouTube and not Hollywood is the fact that I don't have big budgets and sometimes microphones and cameras fail. My microphone started popping all over the place, but I want to share with you what happened in the rest of this video. So you're gonna get a little narration. Here we go. For the next half an hour, Rusty scoured through all of his boxes and shelves and stuff looking for parts to help build this motorcycle. Really every kind of part you can imagine. Here we're looking at a piston and now an entire bottom end. Hopefully it's just a compensating sprocket, but if not, I have some pieces. Just an absolute unbelievable amount of parts upstairs and down, shelves lined everywhere with everything you can imagine of to build a bike. We're gonna have to do something with some, you got floorboards on that thing. We're gonna need to try to do some sort of MIG control, both the drag racing and the hill climb. You need your feet behind you. No brakes, huh? Ain't gonna do nothing but slow you down. Some motocross bars. There really are more parts to this build than I even thought about. Tires are another thing you need to consider. What about what about the wheels? It's got those disc wheels on it. What are you thinking about those? Well, it's got slots in them. I'm not really worried about those wheels. The thing I'm more worried about is tire selection with that size. With 16s, that limits us quite a bit as far as like some dirt tires. We might try to adapt some different wheels. Try to lighten that pig up and maybe put some dirt bike stuff on it. Who knows? Those will look good on there. Give me some control. Be honest, Rusty. You think you can be able to teach me to ride this thing? Well, I mean, I can tell you the things you need to know. It's entirely up to you, though. We're going to try to make this a dual purpose kind of fun bike. We're not really going to try to set the world on fire with it. We're going to get you to be able to dabble in two different things. One of them being drag racing, whether that be drag racing on asphalt or drag racing in the dirt, which both of those will be able to do with this. And the first thing that you want to do with it is do a hill climb with it, with probably the worst motorcycle you could possibly ever build a hill climb bike out of. However, we're going to uh, <laughs> try to make them dual purpose. And what I was going to say is like, we need your feet back here to go up a hill. We also need your feet back here to do drag racing so you're in an advanced state. But you don't really need to have control back there. You don't need to shift it. You don't need to break it back there. Um, we can do an air shifter. What's an air shifter? An air shifter or an electric shifter, one of the two, is basically the solenoid that will actually pull on or push on your shift lever to switch gears. And how am I shifting it? What are you shifting it with? Put a button on it. I didn't know nothing about any air shifters or thumb shifters or shift lights. All my motorcycles have just been down and up with your toes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch that. Let me pull this little guy out. Pushing buttons to shift the bike on the handlebars and uh, lights to tell you when to shift. Just so happened he had a custom drag bike he's building it's sitting there to show me. Pretty high tech. It's a little out of my uh, long distance touring world. 
the D and D exhaust in the process. Who knows if you order D and D exhaust, one of these might be yours. Here's where Rusty was telling us that anybody who pre-orders his equipment for the Stubborn American Rally, he will put it on for free. So you just got to call his office, pre-order it. You can dial this number right here, and then he will show up at the Stubborn American Rally and put it on your bike for free. The Stubborn American Rally happens the weekend of September 28th at my personal campground, the Cave River Campground. And here I am reminding you that Rusty did indeed say you have to pre-order the parts and then he'll come put them on, but he's not going to be bringing the parts to the Stubborn American Rally to sell. Only pre-orders, he'll bring enough mechanics to put them on in my personal shop. And then I gave Rusty a fist bump to tell him thank you so much for helping me build this bike. I told you all that uh, we will track the progress as he builds this bike to prepare for the hill climbs at Flathead's Motorcycle Rally. I got a lot of work ahead of me. It's a busy time of year. And then I closed with one of the only times you see Rusty smiling, pretending to put a turbo on my bike. Dude.